where we're looking at the readings for tomorrow, the 16th of May, the Feast of St. Brendan, often called St. Brendan the Navigator, and because of Tim Severn, Tim the Adventurer, who sailed a boat similar to the boats that St. Brendan would have had through difficulties, but eventually achieving landfall in the United States of America, proved that St. Brendan could have done that great journey. Behind me are some images taken from Kerry, from where St. Brendan was born and from where he, in his own cathedral in Clonfert that he's reputed to be buried. Uh, those are the images associated with him. Now, tomorrow the gospel is John 14, which is very, very beautiful. Anyone who receives my commandments and keeps them will be the one who loves me. And he will be loved by my father. For Christ, morality is living in relationship with the Father God as he lives in relationship with the Father God. There's a profound intimacy in the relationship, and that intimacy is morality. It's how we treat one another. When you love someone, whether it's they like a, a little bar of chocolate or whatever, you seek out that to please them. I can remember my father bringing home um, small little bars of chocolate for my mother. It wasn't that he could afford the big box, but the small little gesture of love was often more appreciated. That would come as a surprise to say someone was thinking of you. And we live in relationship with the Father and we think of him. In fact, Christ says that if we keep his word, that he and his Father will come and make their home in us, that we will live in union with one another. And in the power of this union, we can do great things like um Nev Brandon. And of course, what is this power? But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name and teach, he will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. And so in the early church, we see in the Acts of the Apostles how the disciples rely on the power of the Holy Spirit. And we see in the stories about St. Brendan how he is working in union with the Holy Spirit of God, whether it is sailing to Iceland and on to America or whatever. Far more important, the founding of so many monasteries and the amount of evangelization work that he did. He's regarded as one of the 12 apostles of Ireland. And there are a couple of notes underneath in, in, in the video that you can check out on him. Brendan shows us that the power of God alive in us can do great things and that we should not be afraid. God can do great things with us. There's an old hymn I learned in the 1970s, great things happen when God mixes with men. And one of the greatest of these is that God wants the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit want to make their home in you and me. With thoughts such as these, let us go to our beds. Let us pray for one another, that indeed when we wake, our hearts will be filled with the wonder of God and the praise of God on our lips. Agus gamana dia ila kotak shev, ahar maka gaspirit nev. Amen. Slán gafol. Bye for now.